Football club. Wazito Football Club is a team definitely that has been or is very active on and off the pitch. And of course, I had to bring their story because they're all over social media. People are asking me, Tony, bring Wazito FC. Wana kelele mingi. Wacha tusikia kelele Of course, you have Dennis. Ana kelele mingi is a very soft spoken guy. <laughs> Karim sana. Dennis, uh, when did you start Wazito FC? And why did you guys start Wazito FC? Because people think Wazito FC was just started flamboyantly, but there's a history of you guys where you started from. Uh, first of all, thank you for hosting me today. Yeah. I think uh, the history of Wazito Football Club goes down around seven years ago when uh, a group of, I would want to say, talented uh, undergrads at the University of Nairobi decided to, to come up with a team. Of course, essentially, first of all, it was for purposes of leisure. But as time, time went by, the, the bond became very strong and uh, they decided to, to venture into a competitive league. And so around 2011, 2012, they joined the junior leagues in the country. And yes, that is how it has grown uh, up, up to where it is right now. Unfortunately, last year got relegated, right now fighting now to get promoted. What happened to you got relegated in 2018? Was there a problem? Was there a management issue? I mean, there must have been something, of course, we were, people are talking about a lot. What was the inside information? Because you grew up very well, all the way from your branch level to the provincial level to the NSL, and then all of a sudden, Mukakwa relegated in 2018. Definitely, there was something. You know, you know, football. Football is, is very is very dynamic. Yeah, in terms of in terms of uh, mm -hmm. there are very many things that. Oh, Dennis, let me just interrupt you. Just I just want to interrupt just a bit because we want to talk about uh, this particular team. For your information, this team was founded in 2011. Uh, and it was just a team at the University of Nairobi. University of Nairobi is uh, one of, uh, actually, Africa's best university. So they, I mean, they just sat down. Of course, in 2011, they decided to have this team and, uh, amongst themselves. And after, of course, playing several friendlies with some top flight teams and other division kind of teams, they saw that they had the ability and the capability of uh, taking on the big boys. So they threw themselves into the Football Kenya Federation, uh, you know, channels of reaching or qualifying for the top flight league. They started all the way uh, from below there. They took their time to start uh, from below. They grew up. So the graph has been very progressive from top to down, uh, from, uh, from uh, down to top. I can tell you for free. And I have very good information. As you can see, this guy, this is Hamisi Mohamed. You remember who is, of course, in the technical bench. Hamisi Mohamed is uh, a coach, a top coach of uh, Young Talent Soccer Academy in Bulbul in Kajiado. This, of course, is a coach who uh, recently was, uh, took a very high class uh, training coach by Arsenal. Imagine Arsenal coaches uh, called this Hamisi Mohamed to go take uh, some serious training in uh, London. And now, as you can see, they have this particular coach under Wazito. And the story of Wazito is very important. As you can see, that's the technical bench. These are great minds. And bringing in Dennis, these coaches definitely impact your players, Dennis. Yeah, yeah, very, very true. You know, they, they understand the dynamisms of football. And uh, it is very easy to, to grow when you, you're trained by such highly qualified coaches because they understand the theoretical part of it and the practical part of it. So when you, you incorporate all those aspects in football, you, you become a great player. Yeah. Yeah. And of course, uh, you guys uh, were brought in, uh, there is Hamisi Mohamed. Hamisi Mohamed has trained with Arsenal. When are you a fan Manchester United. It had to be Man U. <laughs> <laughs> But of course, uh, having someone who has gone to UK, the skills are impacting on uh, you guys. I'm sure it's, uh, it's it cannot be compared to any other place. Uh, it's tremendous. Mm -hmm. It's tremendous because they bring in a, a, th a theoretical, analytical quality that uh, once we go to approach a match, we we have planned for an opponent, and it becomes very easy even to win the match because they've sat down, analyzed the weaknesses of the opponent, analyze the strong points of the opponent. And that is, that is the great mind they bring into our team. And how do you normally do your selection? Uh, of course, uh, how you began as students uh, of University of Nairobi, are, are you still getting your players from the University of Nairobi or you are doing just the normal recruitment just like any other team? 
Uh, no, there was, there was some quite, there was a detachment from the University of Nairobi at some point, but uh, in terms of recruitment, uh, there's one guy called Solomon Alubala, I know you know him. Yes. Yeah, Solomon uh, is an easygoing guy, so he's interacted with quite a number of players in the country. He's the one who, who's the mainstay in terms of recruitment for the players in the team. Of course, with the guidance of the coaches, the coaches, he proposes someone, coaches proposes someone, then he does the work of ensuring that. How that did person. you get yourself into Was it or Perhaps some, <clears throat> someone is there. What were Komtani, what were Kujuwayani? team so that they can at least learn how you went at this particular team so that they know there's a, there's a process of course so it's until now yeah. you're the captain oh that was back in 20, 2017 when i was i was playing for for poster rangers at that at that time the then coach for wazito was uh, frank Ona. so frank Ona contacted me and asked me if i would be interested in joining wazito of course, for me at that point, uh, playing time was difficult at, at Poster Rangers, so it was an easy offer for me to, to go because I really wanted to, to get playing time in terms of wanting to, to, grow, to grow my career. So that is how I, I joined uh, Wazito. Frank Ona called me, I took the offer. And of course, right now, uh, you have uh, a sponsorship is very important. And of course, anybody coming to the country and seeing Wazito on social media, seeing Wazito playing, of course, uh, you, you know, uh, playing in the National Super League, people, someone will think you are the top flight league. What is this special thing about Wazito that is everybody's talking about? Of course, Nona Juzi Muli Pati Wandege, Ndege on uh, six wheels. <laughs> uh, Wazito is a team that uh, has, I want to say, a development type of model, yeah, which was set around three years ago. It's a team that is working towards achieving certain objectives, which were set, as I've said, uh, three years ago. In terms of infrastructure, in terms of an academy, in terms of having a, a stadium, yeah, having uh, great coaches coaching the team, having a great playing unit. Those are things that were set a very long time ago, and therefore what you're seeing right now is just a revelation of what, of the cornerstone that was put three years ago. Where did, where, where did you guys learn Ricardo? Uh, Ricardo, of course, is the chairman, uh, the CEO. Uh, how did you learn? Of course, perhaps you might have, it might have been an ongoing process before you came in, but how did the team learn? Of course, you've heard stories about how you, how did you learn this guy? And from where? <laughs> and he's a very nice guy, looks, he's a very supportive guy, and he's very supportive of the things that you do on the pitch. We, we, are, we are actually very, very grateful to, to have, uh, we call him Don Rico, the Don, <laughs> yeah, to have him on board. The details of how he came on board, I think uh, one Solomon Alubala will, will be pleased to, to explain. Those are details so privy to me, but uh, all I can say is we, we thank him for the tremendous support that he's giving us. Because you can see whatever he's supporting us with, results are being replicated in the How coach. is he in person? He looks like he's a fun guy. I'm sure you've interacted with him. How is he? How is he? Because definitely we need, we need this kind of uh, uh, people who are supportive of the football. So that at least now this is also trickles down to these other particular teams. How is he's, he? He's, Easy boys, he's, Nakachi. He's very, he's very charming, easy, easy to be around. But uh, I would want to say that he's, he's a perfectionist. Perfectionist in terms of whatever he wants to achieve, it must be achieved. From the results that we give in the pitch to whatever other, other infrastructural part of it that he's putting his dimes on, he's so perfect that that thing must be achieved. And in fact, the the perfectionist nature of him has made us really push hard even in the pitch to, to achieve. Because whenever we lose a match, he's always on us that I must push you guys to achieve whatever I want you to achieve and eventually achieve great things for this team. Who are these other people who are supporting this team, who have been there for you guys? Who are these individuals or companies that of course have seen you all the way to 2019 so far where you are? Yeah, I think, I think uh, Solomon has been has been the mainstay for for Wazito. If 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 you were to to mention Wazito at any point, it will have been uh, associated so much with Solomon Alubala. 
is the one who, who's been actually handling virtually everything just before uh, Ricardo came on board. And uh, the fans, we, we, we had a, a good clique of fans who, who as well assisted Solomon in meeting some of the logistics for the team. Prior, of course, relegation was, was, was very difficult because football without proper funding, without uh, even, even a, 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 welfare, a welfare type of a model becomes difficult. And, and those are some of the main reasons why Wazito got relegated last season. But Solomon has been the rock, the rock of Wazito over the previous years. How can someone join Wazito? Uh, I know you are you're the captain, you have a say. Of course, we can go to bench. In California trials, definitely there is a way of Kopale. Of course, the coach has a consult. When do you do your trials? Where? Where do you pick your nini? And uh, how can someone just come over and do trials? Because Pia Mimi Nikona Vijana Nyumbani Wangependa Kuja Kufana trials. Yeah, currently, currently, of course, we are still on the in season. Most, most of the time, as we begin the pre season, that is when players, players are invited to come on board. But of course, at the moment, it's, it's an issue of coaches identifying a player and, and the player coming to, to join us. It's unlike, I, without fear of contradictions, and like previously when you would invite players for trials, I think at the moment, <laughs> if Solomon would have been here, he would say that was it to have come of age, and they can't do such a thing at the moment. So if coaches identify a player, they invite the player, and the player is signed for us. You play as this season, as of course, as you're saying, the season continues in the National Super League. What is your aim this particular uh, this season? What are you aiming? Are you aiming for getting into immediately? Ama mnataka kukaka NSL? Na Ricardo atakubali, of course. Yeah. The, <laughs> we, we, by the, the league now is, is, is at the home stretch. We, we have only three games. Uh, and of course, it's, it's to gain uh, promotion, nothing less, nothing more. If we can't get promoted, then I don't know why, why we should be playing the National Super League again. What is the age bracket of Wazito? When, when, when I first heard Wazito, I just knew Hapa, ni 36 and above. <laughs> <laughs> What's the age structure like at uh, Wazito FC? You know, Wazito, Wazito if, if it's a team that wants to come up with a, with a youth academy, so the question of age being over 36 is, is nowhere near the bracket. So, of course, we have, we have incorporated all type of age brackets from 20, 21, up to 30. Most of us within that range. Besides playing football, uh, I'm sure there's something else you do and stuff. Because most people think, oh, football, I want it to pay me. But in Kenya, the, the reality is you cannot depend on football. How is your day like? How is your, besides, you know, hassle flag. Yeah. So personally, when, when, when I get I, I'm from training in the morning, I, I'm in a law firm at, at Upper Hill. That's where I do my, my legal things because I'm a, I'm a law student. So I have to get an attachment somewhere. So that is where I'm attached. That is where I, I practice the law on a daily basis, besides from football. Fantastic. So what was Futa? Wana Soma. You must go to school, you must not depend on football. The hard reality in Kenya is that we haven't reached that full professional level, <laughs> but definitely we're going places. Where, of course, was it you're very active on social media? Yeah. Platforms are patikana. Everywhere, in fact, maybe just getting it from you, your social media. What yeah, you to, to, have? To, go, to go Instagram, was it OFC? To go Twitter, to was it OFC? We have a page on Facebook, was it a football club? All those LinkedIn, those LinkedIn, those you come to call. He's a he's a Zawatu old school. Dennis Gisheru, uh, Solomon Alvala, you're doing a lovely job for this particular team. Keep on supporting them. We will support you. In a first, I'll you next time. I will call you personally. To get to get more further details, of course, where you've come from, your beautiful story. So people can know this team did just show up. It's a team that has grown through the ranks. And thank you, Captain Dennis. Uh, Gisheru, captain of Wazito FC, for making time. This, of course, is K24 Sports Hub.